Hi, this is George Cow. So one of the challenges that my clients face, and maybe you as well, is that they neglect to regularly send an email newsletter to their audience. And I always try to get them to do this because it's a, it's a really important thing for business owners like, like you to do. So imagine that you had 10 people who regularly thought about your service and may then refer new clients to you. Well, imagine if there were 100 people who regularly thought of your service and may refer new clients to you. Well, that's what an email newsletter does. When you send an email to your audience, you remind them of your services so that you can have regular possible referrals to your business. And it's so much easier than manually emailing 10 people or manually emailing 100 people, right? Now, an email newsletter is not just every month, hey, here's my services, but it's really some, something of value that you share with your audience, something that's either useful for them, some kind of useful quote, uh, useful tool or useful idea, some kind of encouraging quote, um, inspirational quote, could be that, or it could be something that's entertaining, something you saw on, online that you thought they would enjoy too, that's somewhat related to maybe the values of your business or um, something that you, you, you talk to your, your clients about. So the, the number one reason why I think a lot of business owners neglect to send an email newsletter is because they make it such a big project in their head. Please, it does not need to be, you know, I heard one um, client say to me, oh, I'm George, I'm envisioning a, an email uh, newsletter has to be like lots of articles, maybe even multiple columns. This column is a you know, um, letter from the editor or you know, lots of pictures and got to have a beautifully designed banner and maybe it's like volume one, issue one and volume three, issue ten eventually. And, you know, no, 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 no. That is totally unnecessary for the modern email newsletter. Um, I'll show you an example of a very, very simple one that my, one of my clients actually forwarded to me. This is um, an email newsletter that she reads regularly. And look at this. They, they usually just send a single idea, a single inspirational quote or an inspirational idea. That's it. That's the entire email newsletter. And, uh, and, and then after that, of course, they have their own, the, the, the company has, has its own advertisement for what they want the email subscribers to think about buying or joining or something like that. This is a little bit too salesy for me, but that's, that's, a, that's another topic. You don't have to be this salesy in an email newsletter. Um, the, the website is tut.com. You want to go check out this particular one. And by the way, this, this, um, the, my, my client's name is Nina. So she, when she forwarded this to me, they, the, the email newsletter, um, they're clever because they used a merge field. Um, when, when Nina signed up for the email newsletter, her first name was requested, you know, so she put it in. So they use um, the first name field and they include, you know, each, each person is getting it with their first name. Anyway, um, and there's a share buttons and then they're kind of the required um, email opt-in opt buttons, things like that, uh, opt-out buttons. So it can be as simple as an, an inspirational quote. Imagine if you sent an inspirational idea to your email audience once a month and then remind them also about your services. How simple and great is that? That would get your new business possibly every month just by doing this. Why aren't you doing it? It's because you thought it was some big project. It's not. This email doesn't even have any fancy banners, nothing. Modern newsletters usually don't have any graphic elements, okay, except maybe a little logo at the bottom or some nice social sharing icons. That's it. And I'll show you my email newsletter, and I have an email newsletter archive link that um, I will put in the notes of this video so you can see what some of my newsletters look like. But this is my most recent one. Again, no graphics, no banner, okay? And um, it's just links to some of my recent social media postings. That's it, with a little description. That's all. And um, usually you have some kind of call to action underneath the, the content itself. Basically, people, by the way, what people can do is they can click on each, any of these links, and they can see my recent, you know, social media posting about that particular idea or the a video I made. Um, for example, for, for some reason, this link isn't pulling up right now. Um, let me try this one more time here. It should work. Okay, there it is. So it's my one of my recent videos, okay? Um, 
And uh, I usually have a call to action below here, which is basically if they want to check out my services, or in this case, I'm seeing if they want to get my email once a week instead of once a month. But um, I send this main, my main email is once a month. That's it. And you might say, well, George, does this work well? Yes, it does. So I'll give you another quick, uh, in interesting tidbit of information: is that Mailchimp is one of the biggest, um, uh, one of the most popular email marketing softwares out there. I use Mailchimp; I love it. And they they did an industry study of um, the open rate and the click rate of an, of an email newsletter. Meaning, out of out of a hundred people who get an email newsletter in the agriculture industry, twenty five out of a hundred people will open the email, and and then about the links inside the email, three out of a hundred will click on some link within an email. So every industry has different benchmarks based on, they have, you know, they have, uh, MailChimp has millions of, um, of, of users, so they have lots of industries to kind of uh, do, a, do a research on, okay? So, for example, in my industry, let's say consulting, the average open rate is 20%, the average uh, click rate is 2.4%. Well, guess what? On my emails, I'm getting a 40% open rate, which is double what my industry's average is, and I'm getting, guess what, not a 2.4%, I'm not even getting a 5%, I'm getting a 10% click rate on my emails. And my emails are, again, super simple, no graphics, just my best content, um, and my best free content, and some call to action, that's it. So please, I implore you, starting this month, to send a at least a monthly newsletter to your audience and if you once you get used to sending some, a monthly newsletter to your audience again very simple it can be a simple quote like I showed you before a simple quote okay or it can be something a little bit more involved which is including some links it doesn't have to be links to all of your content I tend to create content regularly on social media so that's why I have things to share but it can be things you saw from elsewhere other articles that you were inspired by other people's other um, some other link you saw some other video you saw that that's uh, that you want to inspire your audience with, and guess what? Your audience will be grateful for the for the for the content, even if it's not made from you, because they'll be grateful that you are the one who told them about it. Okay, so start sending an email newsletter, and once you get used to that, then you can work up to a rhythm of having once every two weeks, and eventually you can get to where I am now, which is once a week. Uh, I I have two email newsletters, um, uh, as as you may know, and I'll I'll include the link in the. Um, in the notes of this video, I allow people to sign up. When they sign up for my email newsletter, I allow them to sign up either for once a week or once a month. And so I have I, I send both. Right. So anyway, um, I hope this is inspiring for you. As always, I'm open to your questions and your comments. And until the next video, be well.